Sister Wives fans are lashing out against patriarch Cody Brown for the ominous comments he made surrounding his ex-wife Mary Brown and the official release their church granted her from their marriage. Cody, who was married to Mary for over 30 years before the breakdown of their relationship in 2022, has struggled to find himself after being left by three of his four wives. Placing the blame on anyone but himself, Cody has been doing very little self-reflection and instead holding his wives accountable for his actions, ignoring the majority of the reasons they chose to leave him at all. During the most recent episode of Sister Wives Season 19, Cody explained that he'd wanted to leave Mary earlier than when she ended their marriage, but he'd been too afraid of the repercussions. During Sister Wives Season 18, Mary and Cody's breakup was revealed to be the second time they discussed a split, but in their initial conversation off-camera, Cody agreed to a separation. When the sister wife's cameras began rolling, he acted like he wasn't open to divorcing and if it was going to happen, it would have to be at Mary's behest rather than a mutual decision. While Cody shared that he was afraid of what Mary could to do him and his reputation if he broke her heart and didn't placate her interest in staying married, it was clear that his behavior toward her wasn't something she was happy with over the years. After the episode, fans took to Reddit where they shared their disdain for Cody's explanation of his actions. Cody's comments about his marriage to Mary because of what she could have done to him have really bothered me, Pammy shared, then explained that it became clear Cody was afraid of financial repercussions. What Sister Wives fans' backlash against Cody Brown means. They're angry at his behavior. Although Sister Wives fans are often incensed at the way Cody acts toward Mary, his relationships with his wife and other ex-wives are similarly difficult. Cody's interactions with Robin Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown have always worked to remove him from blame and place fault on them, so he seems like the hero in every iteration of the story. Cody's behavior isn't surprising, but seeing Mary's struggles on sister wives likely pushed many too far when Cody tried to rewrite the history surrounding their relationship. After Mary's successful request for a release from her marriage, Cody's gone too far. Though fans are often angry with the behavior Cody displays, the reaction at his comments about his relationship with Mary feel different. Uncovering a long-held belief in Cody's strange psyche, fans believe that Cody was trying to placate Mary for years in order to remain legally married to Robin with no backlash. When Cody brought Robin into the family, he had to legally divorce Mary to legally marry Robin. This was something Mary was okay with at the time, but it could have led to major issues if she felt negative emotions about it, meaning Cody was likely placating her. Our take on Cody's comments against Mary. He's always looked out for himself over others. Although Cody's behavior isn't surprising, it's clear that his comments about Mary were greatly exaggerated and made her out to be much more irrational and difficult than she is. Cody's perception of Mary colored his commentary, and the fact that he's had difficult feelings about her for years made it more difficult for him to come from an unbiased place about his ex-wife. Making it seem like Mary was a danger to his life and family, however, was a gross overstatement and left the majority of Sister Wives viewers struggling to see Cody's point. Cody Brown is too selfish to have a successful relationship. He's playing the victim after his divorces. Sister Wives star Cody Brown is spiraling into negativity as he blames his ex-wives for the disintegration of their marriages. Cody was happily married to Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown when Sister Wives premiered in 2010. After fourth wife Robin Brown joined the family, there was a noticeable change in Cody's attitude. Although Cody favored Robin, the plural family still worked hard to function as a cohesive unit. Together they celebrated marriages, births, and new beginnings. In the past few years, the family's dream has come crashing down. Cody began spending nearly all his time with Robin, and he stopped putting effort into his other marriages. He fought with his children and didn't seem to care about repairing their relationships. Cody believed he could continue to think only about himself without consequences, but he faced a rude awakening. Christine, Janelle, and Mary all left Cody in 13 months. Now, Cody still refuses to take any responsibility, blaming his ex-wives for breaking his family apart. Cody desired a patriarchal family structure. His attitude shifted over the years. Early seasons of Sister Wives placed a focus on the role of Cody's wives. Even though Cody was at the center of the family, the show emphasized the independence plural marriage allowed Mary Janelle, Christine, and Robin to have. As the series progressed, Cody's view of his family shifted, 
He demanded respect, despite not always earning it. He grew bitter after feeling he had lost control. Cotty began speaking about his intention to build his family on a patriarchal foundation. Cody viewed polygamy as a means to gain power. The more wives and children he had, the more he would be adored. Cody certainly loved his family, but he also allowed his need for attention to get to his head. When Cody wasn't the center of attention, he didn't care what was going on. This attitude is what pushed his wives away. Cody lashed out in anger after Christine's divorce announcement. He made it all about his own pain. Even though Cody's marriage to Christine was troubled, he was shocked when she announced her plan to leave. Cody seemed to believe no matter how poorly he treated his wives, they would always put up with him. Christine's divorce announcement was a moment of realization for Cody, and he reacted with a theatrical display of anger. He called Christine's decision to divorce a knife in the kidney and lamented the sacrifices he made for their marriage. This placed all the blame on Christine. Cody acted like he had done Christine a favor by marrying her, and he interpreted her leaving as a personal insult instead of looking at his contribution to the split. Christine patiently allowed Cody to finish his rant, a restraint that made him even more infuriated. Cody refused to consider his wife's needs. Cody only focuses on himself. In his anger at Christine, Cody never attempted to make things right with her. Instead, he wrote her off immediately. Christine had plenty of good reasons for leaving Cody after years of mistreatment, but Cody wasn't interested in finding out how he could repair their relationship. When Janelle decided to leave Cody, he had hopes of winning her back. Unfortunately, he wasn't willing to put in the work. Janelle was disgusted by Cody's treatment of their children, but he remained stubborn and refused to make amends. He wasn't willing to give up his time with Robin, even though it was coming between his other marriages. Cody may have said he wanted to save his marriage to Janelle, but he never put in any effort. Cody drove Mary away by essentially ignoring her. Mary was fiercely loyal to Cody, and she stayed in the marriage as long as she possibly could. Now, Cody is accusing Janelle of freezing him out, which is exactly what he did to Mary. Even though he now knows how it feels, Cody isn't any more sympathetic to Mary. He is still only thinking about himself and his pain. Cody is playing the victim after his breakups. He blames his ex-wives for the failure of their marriages. Cody has a very somber attitude in Sister Wives season 19 as he reflects on the end of his marriages. Despite three of his wives being so unhappy they had no choice but to leave, Cody insists he still doesn't know what he did wrong. He accuses his ex-wives of ganging up on him and pitting each other and their children against him. Cody is playing the victim and looking for sympathy. Cody's victim act in Sister Wives proves that, despite the backlash he has faced over his treatment of his wives, he hasn't learned anything. He only thinks of himself and his relationships, even if it means losing everything he's worked so hard for. This is a bad sign for Cody's future. If he can't learn to consider anybody else's feelings, there is no hope for Cody to ever have a healthy relationship. How Janelle Brown is helping Gabrielle Brown mourn Garrison Brown's death is such a tragedy. Still reeling after the tragic death of Garrison Brown, sister wife star Janelle Brown is helping her other son, Gabriel Brown, mourn his brother. Janelle was Cody Brown's second wife, and they had six children together. In 2022, after 30 years of marriage, Janelle ended her spiritual union with Cody. By the time they decided to call it quits, Cody had long been absent from Janelle's life and the lives of their children. In March, Janelle had grown concerned after Garrison sent multiple texts that sounded like he was struggling emotionally. When the Sister Wife Season 18 star couldn't reach him, she sent Gabrielle to check on him. It was Gabrielle who found the 25-year-old National Guardsman dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in his Flagstaff, Arizona home on March 5. Not only did Garrison lose his brother, but finding his body must have been very traumatic. Janelle is likely worried about Gabrielle and determined to make sure she's there for him. Janelle Brown attends Friendsgiving with Gabrielle Brown's friends. A mother's love. Who doesn't love Thanksgiving in April? In April, Janelle posted a carousel of photos to Instagram with a caption that read, in part, Gabe's friends held a Friendsgiving today as one of the group is an international student at NAU, had never been to a Thanksgiving, and will be returning home at the end of the semester. In the photo, Gabriel sits at the end of a long table, surrounded by his friends, with a sad smile on his face. They even watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to complete the Thanksgiving experience. It's good to know that Gabriel isn't withdrawing from the world. 
and is maintaining his social connections. After what he went through, Janelle surely tries to spend as much time with Gabriel as possible. Janelle is likely riddled with thoughts and wishing that he could have saved Garrison. Janelle's probably hoping that her remaining children will never have to suffer again. Janelle's in mourning too, so she should be gentle with herself. Gabriel and Garrison Brown were close best friends forever. At 22 years old, Gabriel was close in age to his now deceased brother, so they grew up together. Even as adults, they lived together for a short time. After Garrison bought his Arizona home in 2021, Gabriel moved in with his brother. They were roommates. During COVAD-19, Gabriel and Garrison grew even closer when they were shunned by their own father. In 2018, TSC posted a Sister Wives clip in which Garrison comes home from the National Guard, as seen above. Garrison was close to many of his siblings, as well as Cody's other wives. In the clip, he's so excited that he sprints from the car to the house and falls into his weeping mother's arms. Garrison tells producers, I try not to talk about, you know, possible deployments or stuff like that around her because she does have a problem with us being away. The comment hits differently in the context of Garrison's tragic death. The clip ends with Garrison being hugged by his many siblings, including Gabriel. Gabriel and Garrison's feud with Cody explained. A family divided. While Janelle was in a good place with Gabriel before his tragic death, Cody was not. At the time of Garrison's death, he and Gabriel were in the midst of a long-simmering Brown family feud with their father. Cody and his sons were always close while they were growing up, but things changed when Cody married Robin. After incorporating Robin's three children and having two more of their own, Cody had less and less time to spend with the children he had with his first three wives. Cody's older children felt resentful, which created tension and conflict in the family. The situation exploded in 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic descended on the world. Cody and Robin were cautious of the virus, while some of Cody's older children were less so. Cody feuded with Garrison and Gabriel because the boys continued to work and socialize during the pandemic. The boys refused to follow Cody and Robin's strict rules, so Cody wouldn't see them. He wasn't willing to visit Janelle's house unless she kicked her older sons out, which triggered her decision to leave Cody. By the end of Sister Wife's season 18, Cody was no longer speaking to his sons. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. How Janelle Brown is mourning her son, her heart is broken Garrison's death was devastating for Janelle, who always enjoyed a great relationship with her son. On March 5, moments after the news of Garrison's tragic death broke, Janelle posted a loving family tribute to Garrison on Instagram. The caption read, Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. Janelle is focused on spending time with her remaining children. On April 9, there was a solar eclipse, and Janelle turned it into a new family tradition. Janelle posted the footage on Instagram with the song Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles playing in the background. The caption reads, in part, it's also hard to describe how profound it is to witness this phenomenon. It left us all with a deeper sense of awe for the physical world around us. It was a reminder that the world is still beautiful. And that's just what Janelle needs after Garrison's death. Janelle is launching a new business called Tata Farms. She will sell flowers and t-shirts. While Gabrielle's currently quiet online, Janelle is finding other ways to heal that also involve the natural world and its wonders. She's launching a new business called Tata Farms. The business is still ramping up, but it seems like Janelle and her co-workers, one of whom is her daughter Maddie Brush, will be selling flowers. The post above promotes the farm's merchandise. Right now, two styles of t-shirts are available. Both designs are black and feature the brand name, Tata Farms. Janelle's always enjoyed being out in nature. In earlier Sister Wife seasons, she and Cody would go camping alone. Janelle treasured that one-on-one -on -one time with her husband, who was often stretched so thin. With 18 children and four wives, Cody had a lot on his plate. He now has 17 children as Garrison passed away and only one remaining wife, Robin Brown. Cody stopped giving Janelle those romantic good times that kept her interested. He tried to patch things up by taking her on a date in season 18, but it was too little too late. Cody didn't always appreciate the love that was all around him, it's his loss. 
Janelle was quite loyal to him, and his kids with his non-Robin wives just wanted time with their father. Since Cody was so wrapped up in his life with Robin and their children, the other Browns frequently felt emotionally abandoned. Now, they can lean on each other. Janelle's a warm person who is still present for her family no matter what. She's grieving, but she just keeps going. She's showing amazing strength in the worst circumstances. As her farm project evolves, Janelle may follow in Mary Brown's footsteps. After leaving Cody, Mary launched Worthy Up, a subscription-based online community where people can visit to build their self-esteem. Mary will share her thoughts and feelings after an essentially loveless polygamous marriage. Her insights are valuable. Mary has been through the rainer, and she's learned how to build herself up. She's not living for Cody or her former sister wives anymore. While Janelle isn't calling herself a self-help guru like Mary is, she's showing the world that she can bounce back after even the most devastating heartbreak. No one should have to bury their child. She's faced what's so hard to bear, and she's often sad, but she soldiers on, showing mental toughness that is frankly awe-inspiring. Gabrielle, who hasn't posted at Instagram in years, may eventually come out of the shell. However, he was very emotional on screen and may find that quiet time out of the spotlight is beneficial. He loved his brother and finding Garrison's body was surely the worst moment of his life. It may take years to get over that. He will always grieve, no matter how much time passes. Fans who care about him should respect his privacy and he and his mother come to terms with everything that's happened. Signs Robin Brown has lost all respect for Cody Brown. Sister Wives star Robin Brown has lost all respect for her polygamist husband, Cody Brown, and there's no chance he'll ever earn it back. 45-year-old Robin is 55-year-old Cody's fourth and final wife. By the time he married her in 2010, he had been married to three other women for 16 years, and he already had 12 children. Back then, the whole family lived under one roof in Utah, in a house with separate wings for each wife and her children. Cody would go from wing to wing, spending each night with a different wife and children. Though the series was supposed to present the image of a functional polygamous family, it ended up being a chronicle of their demise instead. By the time Sister Wives season 19 premiered in September 2024, the Browns were a very different family. They weren't even a polygamous family anymore. Three of Cody's four wives had walked away from the family, leaving him in an accidentally monogamous relationship with his fourth wife, Robin. Though there was always speculation that Robin secretly wanted Cody all to herself, she had come to resent Cody for failing to maintain his other marriages. Robin wants Cody to fight. She wants him to man up. When all was said and done, Cody had four wives and 18 children, and there was never enough of the polygamous patriarch to go around, which led to a lot of resentment. The Brown family was already struggling when the COVID-19 pandemic struck and divided them beyond repair. Cody's third wife, Christine Brown, was the first to walk away in 2021. They had been married for 27 years and had six children together. Cody's second wife, Janelle Brown, left Cody in 2022, after 29 years of marriage and six children together. Cody's first wife, Mary Brown, left him later in 2022, after 32 years together and one child. Finding herself in a monogamous relationship with Cuddy, his fourth wife, Robin Brown, is delusional about the family's future. She resents Cuddy for not fighting harder to save his marriages. The truth is that Cody's tired of having to juggle the needs of so many people, and he's not interested in trying to make it work. The fact that he didn't fight to save his family made Robin lose a lot of respect for her husband. During Sister Wives season 19, she repeatedly begs him to take action. It remains to be seen if Cody will try to make amends with any of his ex-wives. The bigger issue is that he's not on speaking terms with several of his adult children, which bothers Robin even more. Robin's children are unhappy. They didn't bond with their siblings. In 2014, Cody adopted Robin's children from her first marriage and gave them his last name. Though efforts were made to help Aurora and Brianna Brown and their older brother, Dayton Brown, fit into the family, Robin's kids never felt truly accepted by Cody's other children. It wasn't realistic to expect Robin's children to feel just like the other Browns who all grew up together. Robin's children never lived with the other Browns, so it was impossible for them to share similar bonds. During an early episode of Sister Wives Season 19, Aurora and Brianna sit together for an interview in which they discuss the painful distance between them and their step-siblings. 
Brianna shockingly claimed that, on more than one occasion, various members of the Brown family told her that they didn't see her as a real sibling. Robin isn't ready to let go. She thinks there's hope for some of Cody's marriages. While Cody appears to be ready to leave his polygamist past behind, Robin isn't anywhere near ready to let go. She delusionally believes that he can work things out with some of his exes. While Christine has moved on and remarried, tying the knot with David Woolley in 2022, Janelle and Christine are still single. Robin thinks Cody can work out his problems with Janelle and Mary. Robin dreams of sitting on a porch with her sister wives in her old age. Robin also wants Cuddy to make amends with several of his adult children, with whom he rarely speaks. In March 2024, Cody's son with Janelle, 25-year-old Garrison Brown, died unexpectedly. He and his father weren't on speaking terms at the time. There was some expectation that this would have taught Cody a lesson and inspired him to reach out to his children. Sadly, no lessons were learned and he refused to contact his adult children. Will Robin leave Cody? He killed her dream. Robin is devastated by the dissolution of the Brown family. As she has repeatedly explained, she married Cody mostly because she fell in love with his large, close-knit family. She wanted the same kind of deep family bond for herself and for her children. Robin wanted Cody to be a very different man than he turned out to be, and the fact that the sister-wife's patriarch couldn't hold his family together made Robin lose a lot of respect for her husband. Respect is hard to earn and easy to lose, and Cody may never be able to earn back Robin's good opinion. I believe Robin Brown is playing the victim. She's changing her tune. Sister Wife star Robin Brown has been playing the victim for years, but after changing her tune about the relationships she has with Cody Brown's older kids, I believe she's playing it up even further. Throughout the run of Sister Wives, viewers have been getting to know Robin and the impact she's had on the Brown family as a whole. Her relationship with Cody changed the fabric of the family, kicking up dust with Cody's other wives in the plural marriage they shared. Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown all married Cody in their younger years and began expanding their plural family, but none of them expected Cody to be interested in bringing another wife into the mix after decades. Robin's time in the Brown family has been difficult for everyone aside from herself, Cody, and the kids they share. While Robin's always said that she was looking to be welcomed into the family at large, it turned out that Robin was really looking to spearhead a takeover. Cody and Robin's lives together may have started in 2014, but after just a few years, it seemed like she was the one who had been in a plural marriage with him for over 20. With tragedy striking the Brown family before Sister Wives season 19, the changes Robin made are clear. Although Robin and Cody's marriage was never exactly the easiest thing to present to the family, it was clear from the early years that the Brown kids were pushed to accept Robin into their lives. Though the rest of Cody's wives did their best to welcome Robin in a way that made her and her children feel welcome, the kids seemed to struggle to be gentle and kind about Robin and her children at times. It wasn't unexpected or shouldn't have been, as Robin was coming into the family while the kids were old enough to understand what was happening. Taking it personally that the kids were struggling to understand the nuanced dynamics of the family and trust Robin was someone they wanted in their lives, she often shortchanged the brown kids who weren't her own, openly pushing them away for not behaving in a way that she understood. Robin was hard on Cody's older kids. While some of them had relationships with her and still do, the majority of the kids don't have connections with Robin because she's pushed them away for years. Robin pretends she's the one who's being pushed away, but in reality, she's doing the pushing. Although Cody and his children have never really seen eye to eye, he was at least able to hold down relationships with them in their younger years. At this point, the majority of the older kids have moved away from having Cody in their lives, or at least having Cody in their lives in a big way. Throughout Sister Wives, it's clear that the older kids have had a hard time with the way Cody talks to them, treats them, and handles his marriages. While he believes the kids have attitudes, Cody's been the one with a serious chip on his shoulder. While Robin has spent the majority of her time on Sister Wives working to ignore the way that others treat her in favor of the way Cody treats her, but her perceived victimhood has been difficult to watch. Throughout Sister Wives season 18, Robin pushed the narrative that Cody's kids were trying to push her and her kids away from the family, when in reality Robin was keeping her children away from the rest of the kids of the Brown family. Sister Wives airs Sundays at 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on TLC. Subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Always be the first to get news.
please don't forget to like, comment, share, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.